Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. So we got some more Washington Commanders news. So the Washington Commanders are expected to sign Cam Sims to a one-year $3 million contract with $2 million guaranteed. And the Washington Commanders have also tendered restricted free agent kicker Joey Slice. We're going to talk about that and what it means for the Washington Commanders. And also, we have an update on what number Carson Wentz will wear for the Washington Commanders. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content so you guys never miss a video. Hit that like button and turn on those notifications. Also, go ahead and follow my Twitter. I'm trying to get to a thousand followers on there. Now, let's get right into the video. So we heard earlier today from Jeremy Fowler that the Washington Washington Commanders were working on a deal for Cam Sims, and now it is very likely official. He is not going to sign it today, but if everything checks out, he is expected to sign the contract tomorrow. So I'll read this right here from Ben Stanek. It is a one-year, $3 million contract with $2 million guaranteed. Sims is staying with the Commanders. I think this is a really good deal for Washington locking down uh, you know, a solid receiver. No, he is not a number one, a number two, and likely not a number three. He is a really good rotational receiver to have on this team. He also is a special team stud. When they do put him on special teams, he is really good, especially on punt coverage. He is very good at that, but that's not what we're you know, gonna want him to do primarily here. What we want is for him to be a big body receiver, and of course, Carson Wentz loves throwing to those big receivers, so that is really good. You know, it matches those skill sets really, really well, and I think it's a good fit in Washington. I think the price is reasonable too. I mean, two million dollars guaranteed, up to three million dollars in total. So, you know, I think that is a solid deal for Washington. You look at his stats this year; not amazing stats. Uh, 15 catches, 211 yards, and two touchdowns. The year before, though, with more playing time, he had 477 yards, 32 catches, and a touchdown. So definitely regressed a little bit this year. But I don't think him himself regressed. I think it's more his targets. And I don't really know why he wasn't getting more targets because the receiving you know, unit still wasn't great. And, you know, he was playing pretty well. When he was on the field, he was playing pretty well. You know, the targets he got, he did really, really well with those targets, in my opinion. And even with the snaps he got, he did pretty well. And I think that they should have used him a little bit more. Hopefully, this year, he's kind of used like he was in 2021, because that'll mean hopefully Curtis Samuel is healthy. Hopefully, they have another receiving option. But he is a very good rotational receiver like a fourth or fifth option he is your guy he's a big body you know six five he's you know lanky he's got you know big hands as well so this will be a good target for you know Carson Wentz if he wants to throw it deep you know I think Cam Sims could be used a little bit more in the red zone this year and I think this is a good deal for Washington you get him for cheap it's a one-year deal he's a good guy to have in the locker room the teammates love him he's been here for a while you know he's been grinding his way up you know you look at his first year with you know Ron Rivera in Washington he didn't even make the initial roster he was you know playing on special teams a ton and kept on you know on the practice squad and kept on getting called up and then eventually was signed to the active roster that year and the next year makes the team again so i mean he has been you know really really working hard so good for him to get some money uh 3 million likely if he is able to play this year for us so good for him good for washington bringing back one of their guys that i think they should have brought back and you know so they brought look you know, if we look at the guys that they've brought back so far Troy Apke, Tyler Larson, Cam Sims, J.D. McKissick, and Bobby McCain, and and Joey Sly, likely. So those are the guys that I wanted them to bring back. Of course, didn't want to lose Eric Flowers and you know even Matt Ioannidis, but and we lost Tim Settle as well and Brandon Sheriff, but it is what it is. We're going to have to fill some of those holes soon, and I'm hoping we can make one outside free agency signing today because we still haven't made one and then some other news kicker news the Wa uh, washington commanders have tendered restricted free agent kicker joey sly at the tender of 2.0 million dollars per source so i'm not completely sure how it works but i think how it works is that you know i think he can go ahead and sign that so he still has to sign it and once he does i think teams have a chance 
to maybe you know match that but then if they do we get a pick something like that but i think sometimes you have to put like a second round tender so it might just be once he signs it he is on the squad for this year and that's likely what is going to happen 2.4 million a little bit pricey but it is what it is you know i think it is smart to not necessarily give him like a four year whatever it's eight million dollar deal because you know he played well he played really really good for the washington commanders or actually washington football team back then you know when he did play but it was a small sample size so let's see what he can do this year for a full year hopefully and if he does that's when you give him an extension at the end of the season or you know during the season even and then they also have brian johnson on the squad as well so that is interesting i don't really like it having two kickers on the team because that's you know extra cap space that you could have you know spent elsewhere but it is what it is brian johnson had that game winning kick against the raiders so you know if joey slide does go down you have another backup option there and yeah joey Sly last year was good for us i believe he was 12 for 12 had a couple or, you know in field goals had a couple 50 plus yarders he missed only one extra point and it really wasn't his fault it got blocked and it got blocked because the whole offensive line you know that was blocking just collapsed so you know i think it's a good deal i hopefully washington did find its kicker and we don't have to worry that, about that for a while because you know we've been you know worrying about kickers for a long time dustin hopkins left us and played pretty well for the chargers he just got an extension so good for him these are small moves but you know i think somewhat important locking down your kicker position likely for this year and then also adding in another rotational receiver i still think they either need to draft a guy in the first or second round or sign another guy in free agency with the new cap space that they have and real quick last thing before we wrap up the video here is carson wentz in that commander's uh you know letterman jacket looks clean right there they got that picture today he's in dc i believe he got here today there will be if you guys want an update press conference i believe tomorrow with carson wentz at 10 30 and i think ron rivera will also be speaking there tomorrow so you know a lot of questions that are going to be asked you know for carson wentz i'm honestly more interested with i'm interested on both press conferences but i'm interested in ron rivera's too because he's going to have to to do a lot of explaining in terms of why he made some of the decisions that he did, including cutting or releasing Eric Flowers and releasing Ioannidis and not bringing back Tim Settle. And then also Carson Wentz is going to be back in number 11. So, you know, good for him, you know, gets that number that he was successful with, uh, you know, in Philly. And, you know, Cam Sims just re-signed with us and he's going to need a new number because I guess he'll probably go back to 89 because he was 89 and then AG G, you know, has his number at 11. He's, you know, he gets cut. He makes a practice squad and Cam Sims takes his number at 11. And now he has to go back to 89 or something else. So we will see, but you know, good for Carson Wentz that he is back at 11. And, you know, I think that I'd rather, ha I think he's a, he's a double digit guy. He's not a single digit guy Two just did not look right on him so that is going to be it for today's video appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for any more crazy free agency stuff that happens in the next few hours you know ron rivera and them like to do these late night signings so stay tuned so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed hit that like button and turn on those notifications peace guys